Hello out there, my name is Benjamin and welcome back to Blabbing Solutions. So in this video, we will be looking at how to create a photography flyer. So something like this. And this video is coming up shortly. If you are new to the channel, this is Blabbing Solutions and we are into the production of graphic design video tutorials. So if you think videos of this nature will be of great benefits to you, then I encourage you to hit on the subscribe button, like, share, and let me know your thoughts by leaving them in the comment box below. And also, we offer graphic design services on Fiverr. So if you think you'd want to place an order for any graphic design works, check the description below for the link to our Fiverr account to place your order now. If you're already a part of this lovely and great family thank you so much for passing by once again with this being said and done let's quickly jump right into the video and let's begin so these are our resources that we will be working with it's rather unfortunate that you can see the uh, the pictures these two things are the logo designs for the client and this is the text it's actually nothing much so the name the services and the contact details and this is our photoshop interface so what we will be doing is first of all naming this to what we think we like as we read from the notepad the name is dmos photography flyer right all right and we will be working in inches so i'm going to choose inches from the measurement back here and in here we're going to be using uh, the width to be four inches and the height to be three inches sorry three inches and i'm going to be working in 300 resolution and uh, the color mode is rgb because i'm not going to print this and everything is okay here so what next we're going to be doing is to click on create all right so we currently have a working space in here what we will be doing first is i'm going to turn this background to a dark background so we will come to our adjustment create adjustment then we will choose solid color then in here i'm going to be selecting the black color good so i'll be working on this layer All right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my image. I have an image of a photographer and I have a retouched image of a beautiful lady in here. Sorry. Alright, so I'm going to be placing this in here. Great. I got this image from the internet. So you can as well get this image. But if you are a photographer, all you need to do is just take one retouched picture of your client and you can use that for the flyer design. So I'm going to be placing this over here this way and hit enter. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be brushing this part of the image off, this part of the image off. So I'm going to add vector marks to this image you guessed right good so select in here go in for a brush tool and use the open and square open square bracket and close square bracket to either decrease or increase the size of my brush so this i think that i guess this is okay and make sure your foreground is set to black if i have a video about how to use or uh, everything you need to know about vector max so please check up here for the link to that video all right so let's back to our video what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to just what portion of this nice ladies body off wow this is great this is looking good good and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be bringing the other image of the photographer. I'm going to be placing this in here. 
great so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making this below to height below the sorry sorry all right so let me choose the book too so we can easily move this and I'm going to be reducing the opacity of this photographer to something let's say uh, let's reduce until I think it's okay all right so let me drag this down here below down here below down here below down here down here down here below down here below down here below let's see what happens to this okay so uh, this this image should be on top of the lady and I'm going to add a vector max to this image as well and with our brush tool selected I'm going to just brush this portion off nicely and gently Alright, so let's go ahead to reduce the opacity of the image as well. It's still too high. Alright, 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 alright. So now what we'll be doing next is we will be doing the typing of the text. So with my type 2 selected, let, let me come to my notepad and copy this. Then I'm just going to press Ctrl V to paste my then let's change the color. So I'm going to change this color to something like gold yellow. Gold yellow. So let me copy the hexa code of this control C and we will be needing it. So all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to compress or reduce the size of this photography. It's okay, and there you have it. And the next thing I'm going to be typing is D D M O S. But it, this will be in white. So let's change the color to white. Let's increase the size. Right, so I'm going to be placing this in here and I'm going to be dragging this kind of. So let me reduce the size of the mouse a bit. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Let me still reduce the size of the mouse. Okay. Good. So I'm going to be linking these two layers together so that I can easily move them this way. So I'm going to place this image here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this, my beautiful lady, to the perfect corner something this way oh, I guess it's okay then our uncle the photographer will have a nice place to rest this way good and now let's go in for our shape to surrounded so shape two, and we just have to draw something this way I don't need this color I need the so let's paste our hexa code there and select your move tool back and let's pull this up a bit. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rounding the edges of this part, all the edges, don't worry. The other part of the edge we didn't show, so just let's round this. Sorry, control Z to undo that. Let's make this just make sure the chain is checked. And great then the next thing we'll be doing is we i'm going to be bringing this which says our services include with my type 2 selected click anywhere paste this 
so I'm going to be using a font by name lemon milk and this will be medium reduce the size to about 10 10 10 is too much so let's reduce the size to about 8 and let's place this in here even 8 is too much so control T and let me scale this to something I think I like all right so I'll be needing a color of black not red right and now the next thing will be uh, services good so with my type 2 selected I'm just going to paste this in here this way and all the font text color will be white So let me choose a regular regular type person. I guess it's okay. Guess it's okay. I guess this is okay. This is okay. I guess this is okay. This is okay. Alright, so uh, I'm going to be adding bullets to this. So with my ellipse tool selected, hold your shift key to have a proportionate or a perfect circle drawn. I'm going to leave this color in the red type and I'm going to be placing this one after the other on each line so I'm going to be doing this alone do make sure to do yours as well and um, I, I will get back to you guys shortly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this ellipse shape and place it behind each text right so see you soon all right guys so welcome back now this is perfectly done and the next thing or let me say the final thing that I will be doing here is I'm going to be placing the contact of this photographer and uh, before we bring in the contact I'm going to duplicate this shape over here so hold with your alt key held make sure you select the layer of the shape hold your alt key click and drag to duplicate this shape or this layer right so with a uh, property panel we can easily return this back to its normal size that it was so hold here and drag to left till we get zero okay so we have this in here and I'm going to be dragging this control T hold your alt key click and drag this I'm going to be dragging this from the side here all right so from the side here this way And there you have it. So let's quickly bring in a uh, for settings or increase inquiry. Sorry, not increase. Press this control T to help reduce the size of. this and I'm going to be placing this over here now quickly let's bring in our contact details put our type to selected so uh, I'm going to change the font type to this help vertical instrument and I'm going to what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get rid of this guy All right, and I'm going to put in this guy over here and let's bring this to on top of this control T to scale this huge enough huge enough and uh, I want to space out this in threes for in these twos once zero and fire all right so 
I'm not going to be leaving this in white. I'm just going to turn this to black. Black makes it cool. Black makes it cool. Black makes it cool. But come to think of it, I don't even know why most most designers use dark background for photography flyers. Why? I don't know. Like I've tried thinking about it, but I just couldn't understand. Let me know in the comment box below if you know why most designers use dark background for the their photography images, right? I think everything looks cool here. Now there's one thing missing, which is the logo. So quickly, let me import the logo. So the logo, I have two types of logo in here. I have the black and I have the white. So perfectly, the white will work on the black background. So let me put this down here. Great. So let me scale this. Going. So I'm going to place the logo in here. All right, guys, and you could see we have a nice flyer done. So actually, this flyer could serve as your core card, and it it could also be as a sticker. And anyhow you'd want it to be you could use it for all right guys so the uh, most photography is actually based in ghana winiba to be precise so if you happen to find yourself in Accra, ghana winiba and you need a photography this guy is a perfect guy to work with so do all to call him keep his contact so whenever you know you are in Accra, ghana winiba call him for a perfect and a great shot Alright, so with this being said and done, this brings us to the end of today's video tutorial. If you think you learned something in here, please do all to give this video a thumbs up by liking and sharing the video as well. And also making sure to leave your thoughts in the comment box below. Please feel free to share your ideas, share your views. You can criticize the design if you want and um, I am in for correction. I always tell myself I'm not perfect, I'm still learning. So if you think something went wrong, please feel free to share your idea in the comment box below and I'll be very glad you did. Until I come your way next time, it is still Blabbing Solutions and thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.